What's going on guys? Here back in the garage, different angle. For all the Star Wars fans, I know there's one of you out there. <laughs> but a couple figures, as you can see this is episode one man, so this is how far back, I'll even go further back than episode one, but just a quick, I'm gonna get back to the Star Wars thing later, but one thing y'all need to notice was this girl right here, she had a red lightsaber and that was a Jedi. But they switched it up later on. Whatever, let's get back to the supplements. Guy asked me, at this current time, I guess, at this current time, out of all the supplements as far as pre-workouts that I've tried, which one do I think is the best to me? All right, this is just my opinion, guys, really. We all have different bodies. We all take in things differently. They affect us differently. There's high caffeine people. There's low caffeine people. There's middle grade, which I think I am because I don't, I could take a lot of caffeine and get too much, and I could take not a lot and not have no any effect. So right in the middle is where I'm at. So that's why most of these things work for me. But if you're at a one end of the spectrum or the other end, you know some of these things aren't going to kick you in the pants like it does me. So I'm just telling you my my thoughts and my reactions from these products. So I've tried quite a few pre-workouts. Let me show you some that I've tried. These are not all of them. I actually used pre-workouts before I started doing videos. So you got your Inno Explode. That was actually the first one I did a video on. That's the caffeine free. Got Pump HD, 1MR, the second version, Assault, Craze, Beast, uh, Super Beast Mode there. And you got 1MR. That was the third version of 1MR, the one that gave me headaches. And then you had the Jack 3D Micro and the C4. Now I've tried the other jack and I've tried you know pre-surge unleash when it came out and all those ones with the one three in it I mean off the chart man those things were good but you know they started finding these health effects or people were abusing them so now they're removing them from the products so out of all of these all the ones I've taken none of these to me are the best one I've taken the best one I've tried is this the hyper effects and you probably say what 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 about craze don't get me wrong, Craze gave me massive amount of energy, had me flowing through the gym like I was on a cloud. And when I left, I felt just as good. But a lot of these other pre-workouts do the same thing. What Craze was missing was the pump, okay? Or you could have one that gives you an awesome pump, doesn't give you the focus. Or you can have one that gives you extra energy, you don't get the focus or the pump. See, that's, that's the thing, guys. You want a well-rounded pre-workout, one that gives you multiple things and you can tell you're getting all that in one product. You know, a lot of these things you stack with Hemoball, such as the Craze, definitely the Jack Micro, definitely the C4, because you don't get that pump effect out of it. Now, the Pump HD, that was a great pre-workout as well. It gave you energy, it gave you a pump, but I didn't get much of the focus there. It did give you some aminos and some electrolytes, but you know, it was kind of missing in an area. You throw a couple, uh, I'll tell, uh, a scoop of Hemoball in there, and you got the greatest pump you can probably get. But this one gives me the pump, gives me the focus, gives me the energy. On top of that, it has fat burning support and it's got test boost in it as well. And even on the label, it gives you a multitude of things that it gives you. Training and energy, gives you focus and mental alertness, power and endurance, testosterone, muscle carnage, and, and that's the... Uh, with the beta alanine, most people don't even like that. So if you do like it, some of these products don't have that in there. So you got to go and you got to buy extra pills. This has it in there. This has the resistance to muscular fatigue. It has hydrogen ion H buffering. It has aerobic working capacity of muscle tissue and, of course, the fat burning. Well-rounded. You see, at one point, the Pump HD, to me, was the a really well-rounded product. It had a lot of things that just wasn't a whole bunch of stimulants or a whole bunch of beta alanine or a whole bunch of uh, creatine in it, you know? It's like, what if you didn't want creatine? You're still getting some in your pre-workout and then you're still scooping another scoop in. So to me personally, guys, at this moment, at all the pre-workouts I tried, this one is the most well-rounded product. As far as you open it up and you start coughing, it's the only thing bad about it. But today, I'm trying a different pre-workout, okay? Now this one is just totally different from all other ones, I've been, I've been looking for this one. I wouldn't even really call it a pre-workout, but they do. So here we go. Push 10 by Muscle Tech. Okay, I've been waiting for this for the simple fact, the claims that it makes, that the first dose 
you get an increase in 10.5% muscle strength. Okay? Now anybody that's claiming that, I gotta try it. I'm a first time user. I believe in, if you can give me something good the first time I use it, you got a good product. I shouldn't have to wait six months, six weeks, three months, and then you'll get it. If you can actually give me something on the first dose, like most of these pre-workouts do, that's good stuff, man. I don't mind spending my money on that. So let's go over the push 10. Stimulant free, number one. What if you work out late at night and you don't want to take craze and be up all night bashing your head against the wall and beating you off trying to get to some sleep? You know, you might not want that. I work out late at night, you know? It's almost five o'clock. I go in at six. If I take something, if I was really caffeine sensitive, take something right now, man, I'm not going to sleep for a couple hours. So, number one, stimulant free pre-workout amplifier. Immediate 10.5% increase in strength shows significantly to improve training and performance. Watermelon flavor here. It's got uh, 32 servings per container. Let's go over some of these labeling facts they're putting up here. If you're serious about performance and results, all you need is a new muscle tech. No proprietary blends, no fillers, no underdose key ingredients, no hype. No banned substances, which is good for y'all that are using or actually working at a place that does drug testing or anything like that. Military, law enforcement. Hey, you want to take this? You won't have any problems in uh, passing the test. And no exceptions. All right? Push 10 is a next generation strength and performance supplement that works immediately to help you perform with the best during your toughest workout and support specific training programs. Push 10. It's unlike anything you've ever tried. It represents a new scientific development in the creation of an advanced muscle performance formula that delivers incredible strength gains on your first dose. Okay, that's what they keep pushing. The first dose, you're going to notice something. Okay, let's get away from this, I didn't feel it, you know, commentary. Let's get with the, I noticed a difference. Not, I felt something, but... I noticed something. I noticed that I could push more weight. I noticed I had more strength. I noticed I had more energy. Not, I didn't feel it. So let's just, I'm going to cut all that I didn't feel it stuff out. Let's just think about what did you notice during your workout? Did you feel good going in? Did you feel good coming out? Did you just have massive energy or did you crash in the middle of it? I noticed I didn't push as hard. I noticed I wasn't as tired. I noticed I wasn't breathing as much or as hard as I was normally without this pre-workout. So. I should notice something today. Immediate 10.5 increase. And they did all these studies in the University of Florida. It even has a patent on this thing. Pretty good. So, but basically there's two ingredients in this, guys. And I don't know if you tried it, but it's gat kick, and we all know the beta alanine. Okay? The gat kick must be some special formula that Muscle Tech came up with. I'm gonna do a little bit more research on that later. But that's 11.2 grams of gat kick in here. And it's got 3.2 grams of beta alanine. It's got zero stimulants, zero creatine. So if you don't want creatine in your pre-workout, you can look at this too. And zero banned substances as well. So the gat kick, it's got five point. There's there's one scoop is a is a total of. It's one scoop, is a serving, a half a scoop of course. It's a half a serving. <laughs> so you want to mix this if you're going to go for a pump, which this probably doesn't have any pump effect. You want to throw some uh, some hemoball in here, which I'm probably going to be doing because I like a good pump. And since this is mainly a strength product, I'm not going to have that pump effect in here. But just take one serving, which is a half a scoop, my correction, uh, 45 minutes before you work out or mix two servings, which is one scoop. So I messed that all up, guys. Oh, my apologies. So two servings I'm doing today. And best in class taste, get more out of your money, superior non-stimulant based pre-workout amplifier, increases endurance 21%, scientifically researched beta alanine. Beta alanine, guys, if you didn't know, it buffers the lactic acid in your muscles. So when you get to that burn point and you can't do any more, the uh, beta alanine is supposed to kind of soften that blow so you can get a couple more reps out. So, here we go guys. I'm going to open this bad boy up. This is the watermelon flavor. Thanks for the seal, Muscle Tech. Let's look at the scoop. Scoop size is half a scoop is 15, so a full scoop is 30. So you can already tell it's not concentrated for sure. Powder is no color in it. It's just white. 
Get my water here. Doing one full scoop. 45 minutes before you work out. So obviously this does not absorb into your system too quickly if you gotta take it 45 minutes before you work out. So you want to give yourself plenty of time. Actually it does have a little bit of coloring to it. Some watermelon. It's no dyes. It's just strength best. No, no stimulus guys. So I should just see an increase in strength. Which that's what I really want. Hmm. Smells like watermelon. That's all good. But I got about 45 minutes before I think about heading out to the gym. So I'm going to wait on this. Let it dissolve. I'm going to pack my other stuff. I'll be back with the taste test. See you in a minute. Okay, guys. It's about 5 o'clock. I'm supposed to meet with uh, Chris and Tony at 6. So I'm going to take this right now, man. 45 minutes in and I'll just go to the gym and meet up with them at 6. So let's see what this tastes like. And, of course, I'll be back after I use this. Give you my thoughts on it. No explosion like with the Hyper FX. Ah! That tastes like shit! Oh my god! <clears throat> Best taste in this class? I don't think so. That tastes horrible. That's the worst watermelon I've ever ate. Mm. Nasty. If you're thinking about trying this, get ready, man. The taste is not that good. But anyway, hopefully the effect is better than the taste. So I'll be back about an hour, two hours. Let y'all know how I think. All right, guys, I'm back. Had to go to the store, grab some food, because got to have your diet right, guys. Got to have the, the proper foods going in to get this stuff going. But back to the push 10. <laughs> Let me tell you what, man. Stuff was amazing. I lie to you not. I lie to you not. I, I, I was in there for the good, man. I was tearing it up. I mean, I couldn't sit still. And I was pushing as hard as I could. And stuff just felt light. I am, I am being honest to God, truth with you guys, man. Stuff, when it said it gave you extra strength increase, that's for sure. It gave it to me. And, you know, I, if something's not working, I'll be, believe me, it ain't working. And I'll tell you guys that. But that actually did work. For a stimulant-free pre-workout, I felt like I was on something. Stimulant-based at that. So, if, man, that was amazing. You know, I'm going to do it on uh, another day. This was chest day, and, man, I was tearing it up. I mean, it was, I went from this exercise to this, and I was supersetting this. I was pushing heavier weight on that. And I wish I could have filmed it, man, but I probably couldn't have gotten nothing in because I was moving so fast. Plus, there was a ton of people in the gym today because it rained, so everybody wants to go to the gym. But, man, I'm definitely worth my money, man, on this. No lie. I, got, I think I got it for like 40 bucks. But, yeah, muscle endurance was there. Uh, definitely the strength increase. And I don't know. I just felt like I just had more energy. I mean, really. Felt real good in the gym. I was even telling Chris and Tony, like, man, I feel like I'm on something, man. This stuff I'm trying is, like, it's good, you know. Went the whole hour and a half, you know, no oh, no tiredness, no, oh, man, I can't wait to leave. I'm like, what time is it, you know, just to see what time it was because I felt like I hadn't even been in there. I mean, we did, like, the first, you know, couple sets of stuff. I'm like, man, you ready for the real workout? Because I was like, this is just a warm-up. Let me stop rambling, man. Y'all can see I just got still got a lot of energy left in me. And I didn't really eat that good today, so I don't know why I'm so hyped up. But, hey, that's my take on it, man. I mean, I, I really enjoyed this product today. It really did me right. Did me right and definitely going to try it again on Arm Day, which would be, uh, I think, Saturday. No, Sunday. Doing Arm Sunday with the guy. Uh, actually, a subscriber, man, meeting him over here on Suffolk. So we're going to go ahead and do a workout on Arm. So maybe I can get some footage in on that. But push 10, man. I was waiting for it. I'm glad I did. Glad I got it. I'm looking forward to the next time I use it, man. So keep the questions coming, guys. I'll keep the product showing up. Thanks a lot.